Good afternoon, Axe family and friends. This is Pastor Ligeric, and I got a question for you. Are you living up to your true identity in Christ? First Peter 2 and 9 says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. So many times we limit ourselves when we don't live according to who God has created us to be. If I realize that I'm chosen, royal, holy, and peculiar, I'll truly see how special I am in the eyes of God. I'll begin to realize that I wasn't meant to fit in, but to stand out. And in order to live in our God-given potential, we must realize three things. Number one, we should recognize our identity. We can only recognize our identity when we look into the word of God. Scripture is God breathed. The Bible is the final authority for our lives. And so in order for us to find out who we really are, it's going to cause it's going to cause us to look into the word. What does God's word say about me? Not to social media, not to the circumstances around me, not my past, not my mistakes, but who does God say that I am? He says that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. He said, I'm called to be more than a conqueror. If, my, if I found that my thoughts have been conquering me or if my mindset has been conquering me, negativity, my circumstances, then I can simply declare that the Lord has called me to be more than a conqueror. And so once we recognize our identity, secondly, we must begin to speak our identity. Proverbs says that death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. We can speak life in the atmosphere based on who we are. There's something about when you speak God's word, his authority backs you up. When I begin to quote out loud that I am chosen, royal, peculiar, peculiar and holy, then I'm simply declaring who God has called me to be. And so we should speak who we are. Speak those things as though they are. It's not based on how we feel, not based on what we see, but simply who we really are. And then thirdly, even though we recognize our identity and even though we can speak our identity, it isn't until we decide to walk in that identity that we can truly be who God has called us to be. So the third thing is to decide to live in your identity. We must make a decision. We must make a conscious decision that I'm going to be the apple of God's eye. I'm going to love him with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. I'm going to be that child of God he's called me to be. I'm going to be a light, not hid under a bushel, but I'm going to declare the testimonies of the Lord and how good he's been in my life. And so have you been allowing other things to define you, people to define you, other than God himself? Well, Jesus wants you to know who you really are in him. And he wants you to have an intimate relationship with him to the point to where no matter what happens to you, no matter what goes on in your life, he wants you to know that he loves you very much. And though you may be at a place today that you don't want to be in, Jesus wants to bring you higher. He wants to bring you out of the miry clay. He wants to bring you into his loving presence and build you and encourage you and strengthen you and to help you to press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus.